Japan a country with a rich history and stunning geography that'll leave you in awe. This island nation is situated in East Asia, surrounded by the Sea of Japan to the west and the Pacific Ocean to the east. It's made up of a whopping 14,125 islands, but the five main ones are Hokkaido, Honshu, Shikoku, Kyushu, and Okinawa. And get this, Japan is part of the Ring of Fire, which means it's got plenty of volcanic activity going on. With over 125 million people calling it home, Japan is the 11th most populous country in the world. That's a lot of sushi lovers. But here's the thing, most of Japan's terrain is mountainous, so the majority of the population is crammed into narrow coastal plains. It's like trying to fit a sumo wrestler into a tiny car, it's a tight squeeze. Moving on to Japan's history, let's start with the early days. Japan has been inhabited since the Upper Paleolithic period, which is a fancy way of saying a really long time ago. Around 14,500 BC, the Jamin period began, and that's when the hunter-gatherer lifestyle was all the rage. But things started to change around 700 BC when the Yayoi people arrived from the Korean Peninsula, bringing with them new practices like wet rice farming and metallurgy. Fast forward to the Nara period, which lasted from 710 to 784 AD. This is when Japan started to develop a centralized government, and Buddhism began to spread throughout the country. But it wasn't all smooth sailing a smallpox epidemic in 735 to 737 wiped out a third of Japan's population. Talk about a rough patch. Next up, we've got the Heian period from 794 to 1185. This is when Japan's culture really started to blossom, with the emergence of a distinct Japanese identity. We've got Murasaki Shikibu's The Tale of Genji and the lyrics to Japan's national anthem, Kimigeo, to thank for that. But let's skip ahead to the modern era, shall we? In 1853, the United States Navy sent Commodore Matthew C. Perry to Japan with four black ships, forcing the country to open up to the outside world. This led to some major changes, like the resignation of the shogun and the establishment of a centralized state under the emperor. During the Meiji period, from 1868 to 1912, Japan underwent a massive transformation. It adopted Western political, judicial, and military institutions, and became an industrialized world power. Japan even emerged victorious in the First Sino-Japanese War and the Russo-Japanese War, gaining control of Taiwan, Korea, and part of Sakhalin. But things took a dark turn in the early 20th century, with the rise of expansionism and militarization. Japan invaded Manchuria in 1931 and other parts of China in 1937, which led to the Second Sino-Japanese War. And then, of course, there was World War II. Japan joined the Axis powers and carried out surprise attacks on Pearl Harbor and other Allied forces. But after the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, Japan surrendered. After the war, Japan adopted a new constitution emphasizing liberal democratic practices. The country experienced a period of record economic growth, becoming the second largest economy in the world. But it hasn't been all smooth sailing Japan has faced challenges like the lost decade in the 1990s and the devastating earthquake and tsunami in 2011. Now, let's talk about Japan's geography. This country is a nature lover's paradise, with forests covering 67% of the land and mountains making up a big chunk of the terrain. But all those mountains mean that the habitable zones are mainly in the coastal areas, which explains why Japan is so densely populated. Japan is also known for its seismic activity, with earthquakes and volcanic eruptions being a common occurrence. In fact, Japan has 111 active volcanoes talk about living life on the edge. But despite the challenges posed by its geography, Japan has managed to build a thriving economy. It has the fourth largest economy in the world by nominal GDP and is a major exporter of motor vehicles, iron and steel products, semiconductors, and auto parts. And let's not forget about Japan's famous work culture, with practices like lifetime employment and seniority-based career advancement. But Japan isn't just about work, it's also a top tourist destination, with over 31.9 million international visitors in 2019. And it's no wonder why Japan has a unique blend of ancient traditions and modern innovations, from the tranquil temples of Kyoto to the neon-lit streets of Tokyo. So there you have it. From its early days as a hunter-gatherer society to its rise as a global economic powerhouse, Japan has undergone a remarkable transformation over the centuries.
And with its stunning natural beauty, vibrant culture, and cutting-edge technology, it's no wonder that Japan continues to capture the hearts and minds of people around the world. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos about the amazing world we live in.